Hi everyone, I am so excited to be uh, recording this video for you guys. A few weeks ago, I decided I wanted to record a video um, after receiving my beautiful M2 Pro Mini from Oliso. And um, I knew exactly which project I actually wanted to do with it. Now, I know a lot of you know me for making shoes using leather. But this time round, I actually wanted to make, yay, more shoes. <laughs> I know some of you are wondering, what do shoes have to do with an iron? Well, in this case, the shoes will be made using fabric, yay. <laughs> and yes, you can actually make shoes using fabric. Now, this beautiful medium weight brocade was actually gifted to me by Minerva. I've already made um, something using it and I had some leftovers and you know how much I hate wasting fabric. So I decided that I actually wanted to make some high heel slides using it. So in order to do that, I have to use interfacing on the fabric to strengthen it and it actually helps in the daily wear and tear of your shoes. And this is why my only so iron comes in handy. So I am so excited to be taking you guys along this journey with me. So please keep watching. Hi everyone. So I am actually gonna get started on um, ironing on my interfacing. And I am using my old laser iron. Now, the kind of interfacing I'm actually using is for shirting. Um, I wanted something a little bit more, um, I suppose, heavier. Okay, I've started gluing, I mean, adding glue onto the insoles. And I'm gonna add glue onto the fabric and to these strips that will actually go around the edge. All right, hi everyone. I was just coming to show you, um, I actually have put glue on the insole and I'm going to wait for it to dry and I've kind of put glue on the rest of the fabrics too and then I'll come and stick them together and start putting the shoe together. When I am impatient and I need my um, glue to dry faster, I use my heat gun. Um, it's this little cute device, it's got two settings and I basically just circle and just keep moving it around because it's got a lot of heat and you generally don't want to stay in one place too long because you could uh, burn the fabric or burn whatever you know you're using. All right, so I finished wrapping that one and I decided I'll just show you guys with this one too. Same process. Um, you know, I usually come to the edge, measure it out, and make sure there's enough um, allowance to basically fold over. Um, just like that. Just pull it, make sure it's nice and tight. You want a smooth. Hi everyone, sorry. I basically finished covering um, both the uh, insoles and um, I'm actually gonna now start putting on the straps. Now, 
if you notice it kind of looks rough and not the best looking but not to worry all that's going to be covered i'm actually going to probably trim off some of that and i'm probably going to uh, cover it all the way down but you'll see it as you know as we go along um anyway so i'm done with this Okay, I've gone ahead and cut out the insole socks. This is usually the last thing that I do, but I was trying to figure out whether I wanted the pink um, insole or the white, but I think I like the white better. It's nice and clean um, and just looks better. So I went with the white, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, underneath may not look the best, but once you put your insole sock, you know, it will cover up a lot of the not most attractive areas I should say of the shoe and even once we put the straps or whatever design you choose funny enough I'm not even sure what design I want uh for the sandal but I've kind of gone back and forth with a few so I will show you what I end up choosing stay tuned Hi everyone, I actually wanted to just show you guys that I decided to actually change up my heel and add the solid salmon suede to it. I just thought that it would nicely complement the fabric, but in general, you can always definitely do your heel in the same fabric. Okay, um, I've attached the front and it looks like that so the heels gonna basically sit on it and we have we're getting closer Hi everyone, so I actually traced out the bottom of the shoe and I am actually cutting out the veg tan leather that will be used for underneath my high heel slide. Hi everyone, so I have prepared my soles. I sky up the edges for where I'll end up attaching the heel. So it turns out nice and neat. So what I'm gonna do is coat some of this. Um, it's kind of like a leather finish. I usually put it on my soles. You just need a little bit just to kind of let the edge look smooth and kind of clean. is cork uh cork filler <laughs> i forgot the name for a second and basically it's just used to smoothen out um the sole you know before you actually put on the like the surface of the the insole before you put on the sole so i'm just gonna apply glue and then the sole so what you actually have to do is wait until obviously both are dry and then stick them together. So now what I'm going to do is wait for 
the soles to dry. Okay, this is how I put the heel on. This is my drill. And as you can see, when I first started using this Hombi, I won't lie to you, I was pretty intimidated. I wanted absolutely nothing to do with it. And so at some point I kept on saying, ah, oh, do I really want to do this? But after some time, a little bit of practice, you kind of get used to it. So I am just going to show you how I do it. Make sure I have it on properly. So if you can actually see there's some of that dust right there. And if you see the little hole, I don't know if you can see it, but oops. Oh, I'm trying to figure out there. <laughs> so the heel's in. There's some of the plastic on here, so I'm going to have to clean them. But that's your heel on. Interesting, huh? So I will do the next one. Make sure that it's on properly and sitting right. And it is, which is awesome. There's a little bit of the white plastic from the hill, but it looks awesome. So. so lastly, I'm actually working on the insole socks for the shoes that make the heels comfortable to wear. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Stay tuned for more pictures. I actually added a bow to the shoe.